Welcome to our audio safari. This one is going to be auditioning the microphones. We have a number of microphones set up here in the sound room. I would like to introduce them to you. First, we have a large diaphragm condenser microphone. Over here we have a small diaphragm condenser microphone. In the middle, we have three dynamic microphones. More specifically, we have the Studio Project C1, which is really good for recording voice and instruments, a good universal microphone that makes everything sound good. We have the SM58, which is really good for voice and has been around for quite a while. Uh, again, very dynamic, wonderful microphone for recording all kinds of things, but specifically voice. We have the Sennheiser 609, which is really good for percussive sounds, loud sounds, for instance, guitar amplifiers and drums. Then we have, this is a uh, knockoff, I should say, or a copy of the RE20, which is a very famous microphone used in um, radio. Rode made a copy called the Procaster. Works really good for spoken voice, and you can get really close, and it minimizes proximity effect, which is a boosting of the bass or low end, which can be um, undesirable for certain recording situations. And last, we have the AKG C1000S. This is kind of kind of called the Swiss Army knife of recording. It uh, records all kinds of things really well. And so uh, you'll see in the studio this microphone put in place for a lot of different things. But it could be good for the voice, good for cymbals, and uh, lots of different applications. So when you come in to record, what I'm going to ask you to do is get about four or five inches away from the microphone and read the script, which I have in front of each mic. And the script just explains what each mic is known for and we'll get a sound sample of your voice in front of each one of these microphones. With the exception of this one, the SM58 I'm going to have you record twice. Once at four to five inches, then I'm going to have you get really close. Why? Because we want to show proximity effect. Proximity effect gives you that bass boost we're talking about and you may or may not like it. So we'll see. All the mics are hooked into the mixer and I will be running the mixer to uh, get the sound levels appropriate and then get the uh, audio file up on the server for you to put into your audio production. And that's it.